Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. If you're a fan of My Hero Academia, you're really gonna like this video. We're checking out the All Might PVC statue from First Four Figures. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, First Four Figures sent me this All Might statue for a fair and honest review, and that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Now, when I first saw that shipping box, I was a little bit worried. I thought this figure might be damaged because the shipping box wasn't in the best shape, but this presentation box here is pristine. The back of the box states that this is an 11-inch PVC statue of the Silver Age version of All Might. And truth be told here, I don't normally keep boxes for packaging, but this one will be an exception. The box is gorgeous. Opening up the box and the very first thing I see here is an authenticity card. It is plastic, just like a credit card. My card does say sample, but as far as I know here, if you do purchase one, you will get an individual number. And on the back of the card are instructions on how to register your product. Underneath this top flap, and we can see yet another presentation box. This one is covered in paper. The paper does have tape on the bottom if you do want to take this apart nicely, or you can just rip it apart like I did. I found that this internal box is also very good looking, you have a bunch of different options if you like to display your stuff. The back of this box also has more details on the figure. Now opening up this box and taking out the figure, I noticed that there was some artwork on the inside of this one and also a paper. Opening up this booklet and I see a QR code as well as a normal code for 500 reward points to use on the first four figures website. And if you're watching this video so far, if no one has claimed it, go on ahead and try to claim it yourself. I'm pretty sure this is only a one-time use code, but I'm giving it here to whoever uses it first. Now that we've taken a look at the packaging, let's take a look at the product itself. First up here is the base. We've got a background with three different scenes on it. The base says plus ultra and red. And on the bottom of the base, we have some more product details. Apparently this is version sample of 5000. So as far as I'm concerned here, only 5,000 of these are gonna be made. And fun fact here, the top of the base is magnetic, so you don't have to worry about your figure falling off of that base on a shelf. And the magnets are strong enough to really stick, but not strong enough to really damage the product. The base of the figure is also molded very well, so it sits flush on the base. You don't have to worry about anything here. And here's a closer look at All Might. On the bottom of All Might's feet, there is a space here if you wanted to write your name or something like that. And here's the rest of the figure in all of its glory. The paint on this is nice. The level of detail is great. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels very robust. I like this figure overall. Here's a quick look from the back. Now the cape on this is one piece. It's attached, you can not take it off, and it's not very flexible. It is a little bit softer than the rest of the statue though. And here is All Might set up and ready to go. And by set up and ready to go, I mean just taken out of the package because there is no setup. This thing comes ready to go right out of the box, and I think this looks great. It looks a lot better than I was expecting. And if you are curious, here is a closer up shot of All Might's face. You can see the level of detail in the paint, and it's painted very cleanly. There's not a lot of spillage at all really anywhere. Now to be honest with you, I don't know if these are hand painted, but it really gives off that vibe. Now interestingly enough, I didn't realize this until later on, and I almost missed it entirely, but the top of this base here pulls off, and the top is magnetic, and there are two akimbo arms hidden underneath. So All Might's arms do articulate if you want, and you can also take them off and interchange them with those akimbo arms if you want as well. Now, if we go on ahead and take a look at the first four figures website, there are three different versions of All Might. The Silver Age version, which we just took a look at. There is also a Golden Age one, which hasn't gone on sale yet and the casual wear version of All Might. All of them are priced at $100 US. So let's get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and whether or not I think this is worth it at $100. And we'll start out here with what I didn't like. The only thing I didn't like is that All Might is 10 inches. It says 11 inches, but that is the size of the stand. So the stand does give an extra one inch. And with that being said, getting into what I like about this thing, and that is everything else. It's highly detailed, it doesn't feel cheap, and first four figures usually delivers when it comes to products. I've also taken a look at the Majora's Mask. I purchased that one on my own, and I was very impressed with it. So for my honest opinion here, $100, if you or someone you know is a fan of My Hero Academia, you're looking for something quality and unique, this might be the way to go. I think this would make a great gift or maybe something to sit on your shelf. 100 bucks really isn't that expensive for what you're getting in return. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. 
Huge shoutouts to First Four Figures for providing this for a fair and honest review. Let me know your thoughts about this All Might statue in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about First Four Figures in the comments below. And let me know which version of All Might you thought was the best. Was it the Silver Age? Was it the Golden Age? Or was it the casual version of All Might? If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.